Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Mm. So conceited every single time. It's good lighting. It is good lighting. Can you open that up actually? So anyways, we just got back home from the gym. We had such a real like really good workout. Um ooh. We had such a good workout today. It was, um, we, well, Brian did back and I did leg and back. So I did some sumo deadlifts, heavy, and I did hip thrusts. Um, what else, babe? We did lat, wide grips, lat pull downs, and then I also did um, hip adduction. And it was really good because I like to work out with my husband. We don't get to do it often because of like our schedules and everything, but he really does help me to improve on my lifts, um, my form as well as weight. I feel like, I feel much safer. I know it's odd, but I feel much safer working out with him when I want to do those like heavier lifts. Babe, can you close the top one so I can put it on it? Um, so yeah, we just did that. It was uh, really good. We had a really good workout. I actually did work out with all of his makeup on. We were out. Oh, that's better, thank you. Um, so we, I actually did work out with all this makeup on because, well, we were running errands and already had makeup like for the day and we still need to continue our errands. So it was just kind of like, fuck it, just, oops, just work out <laughs> with the makeup on and go throughout the day. So anyways, we're just, we made a pit stop at home right now. We're going to go to Bel Air or like a Rayleigh's if you're not familiar with what's up. If you're not familiar with um, Bel Air is, they are affiliated with Rayleigh's, so it's basically a Rayleigh's, and we're going to do our grocery shopping for today. I have some chicken in the crock pot. All I pretty much did, oh, you wanna, we cut it up so it'd be a little bit easier on the cook. I should probably change this to low now, actually, because it's cooking really well. Um, but all I pretty much did was make them defrost and cut up some chicken. And then um, I put used ginger paste. Do I need that? This video is about to be all over the place. I don't think I, I used it all through that. I hope you guys don't get dizzy. I know. So I used um, ginger paste, and then I used this teriyaki sauce, and it's really good, it's our favorite. Um, and I only used a little bit of that with some cornstarch and poured that in. Hi everybody, so we are back and we got our groceries from Bel Air. Um, we spent $100, which is a little bit above our budget that we have been trying to spend, but um, we did need quite a few things. We tried to get Whole Foods, so we bought our potatoes, this is a thing, but we got our packaged rice. Um, Brian likes to do this um, from work, because um, it's why, babe? Because it's just more convenient for you. It's just so convenient. Yeah, convenient. the convenience. And then she would like cooked rice goes bad quickly, so that's another reason why. But we got I love baked beans, <laughs> and we got our regular black beans. We needed bread, and we also got like English muffins for breakfast. And then I got cilantro. We did um, broccoli, some green beans. We did one red onion, one white onion, then we did our nanners. Um, and then, ooh, um, they had Thai mangoes. These are really sweet. They're not like the typical. These are Thai mangoes, like Asian Asian mangoes. They're sweeter. They're not as like tangy. So they're very sweet. These are in season right now, and so I just bought three of them because they have them there, and I really do enjoy those, and so does my daughter. Um, it's a nice for like a dessert. Um, snack, bacon, dessert fruit. Mm -hmm. I really do swear by this. This is local NorCal honey for allergy season because I don't like to take allergy. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't like to take allergy medicine. Um, I swear by using local honey. Um, I know there's probably a lot of like vegetarian or vegans out there who don't like that stuff, but it works for me. It works really well. Last year was the first time that I tried this and I was blown away. I didn't have to take allergy medicine at all. And what I use, so what they say is you have to get your local honey. Like here in Sacramento, um, the allergies are really bad for us. So I either get like Sacramento or El Grove, which is like a nearby city where they um, harvest local honey or Woodland, which is like 10 miles from us. So it's very close. 
So they say to use the honey that's created in your local area because those are like the types of like bees and the pollen that you're going to be exposed to and that's why it works. It helps you build that like immunity to it. So great um, natural alternative for allergies. And I put it on like my breakfast, like I'll put it on my English muffin um, with some butter and then like banana slices or I'll put it in my coffee as a sweetener. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I tried, just try it. Use your um, whole milk or half and half, whatever you prefer, your espresso or coffee, and then honey and cinnamon. It's really good. Um, I'll do that or I'll put some in our yogurt. Like, we've been doing yogurt and fruit um, for like dessert, or I know a lot of people do it for breakfast, and you just put some on that. There's really easy ways to get honey um, in your tea, all of that. What else should we get, babe? And oh, Pesto, Bel Air has a really good pesto. If you go back to any of my videos in the past, you'll see that I did like a sun-dried tomato uh, pesto pasta. It's so good. I just got it again. I like the creamier pesto, so does my family. Like, my husband really enjoys the creamier pesto, and so does my baby. Bananas? She really loves that. Apples? Oh, we banana got, top. yes, Skinny bananas, top. apples, we got fruit. This time we did fruit. Like, we have strawberries in there already, so we didn't bother getting that, but we got, because, you know, lots of fruits are in season right now. We did apples, bananas, the Thai mangoes. And then for, for like when we have real sweet tooth, we got skinny cow ice cream sandwiches. The ice cream is so good. I don't like the bread part. Is that what you would consider? Like the bread sandwich part? I don't like that part. So but it's really yummy. I am lactose intolerant, so it's easy for and me then, to give up dairy. Hey, let's have but a milk. Comment in the bottom to see if there's any alternatives to coffee cream for Chanel. Yeah, guys, I am like a. Co I love coffee, and I love like fancy coffees is what we call it. I'm over Starbucks, honestly, but I like fancy coffee. If you're from like, you know, California, um, here, a big coffee spot out here in NorCal would, is Phil's Coffee, and we love Phil's Coffee. I just love like the creaminess of the coffee. I don't know. I just like the the creaminess, right? Um, so I have a hard time with like regular coffee creamer because I always tell my husband it's called, it's like fake coffee creamer. I don't like but that. Dairy, so we need to give it up. <laughs> so for the teriyaki, all I'm doing is cutting up some little broccoli. So I'm really just cutting up my broccoli um, so that I can throw it into the chicken for the last 30 minutes so it can cook. Here is the final product. We just did regular white rice and threw, or what is it, jasmine rice and um, threw it on top. Brian likes to use sriracha for his to give that little bit of heat. And then I used uh, red chili pepper flakes. I don't like to add the spiciness into the food because Brielle doesn't like spicy food. So Brian and I just control the spice on our own. But yeah, and normally if you, I use chicken breasts for this. I normally use chicken thighs so it kind of falls apart, but we're trying to go a little bit leaner on our choice of protein for tonight. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you like this video or like videos like this, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts um, and please subscribe. Thank you so much. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Here's a little bit of a clip of my um, after party clean with me so you guys can kind of see what the house looks like. I'll link that video down below because it's already live. Um, so take a look. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon.